Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a dynamic project timeline using a scroll bar in Excel. We will start by quickly setting up our project timeline and then we'll discuss how to make it dynamic using a scroll bar. To get started we need to set up a table like this one with a list of tasks and their dates in chronological order. We also need to assign a 1 or a minus 1 to each task. This will determine whether the given event will be above the horizontal date axis of the timeline or below it. The purpose of this is to ensure that the timeline is clear and not overcrowded. Finally, we're going to format what we want the data labels in our timeline to display. We want our data labels to show the task at the top of each node and the date below it. And we want the date to be abbreviated as we don't need to show the year, for example. Therefore, we can type equals, first reference the task, followed by an ampersand, and then we're going to use the character function, open brackets and type 10. The purpose of this is to move the text to the next line. This is because we want our data labels to display the date on a line below the task. After this, we will add another ampersand and then use the text function to format how we want the date to appear. First, we select the date, followed by a comma, and then we specify how we want it to be displayed. In our case, we want two digits representing the day and three letters to represent the month. We can then close brackets and click enter and double click the bottom right hand corner to drag this formula down. To create the timeline chart, select the dates and the heights, go into the insert tab, click on the chart icon and then select the clustered column chart. Next, we're going to click on the chart elements plus icon and remove the chart title, the grid lines, as well as the vertical axis. We will then select more data label options. We will untick the value option and instead tick the value from sales option. Let's go into it one more time. And what we will do now is we will select the cells in column E and click OK. Now our project timeline is set up, we can consider how to integrate our scroll bar to make it dynamic. To start, let's add our intermediary calculations, which are crucial for dynamically controlling which portion of the timeline is displayed. The start date of visible data is the earliest date that appears on the horizontal axis of the timeline at any given moment. This date will change dynamically as we use the scroll bar allowing one to control which parts of the chart is currently in view. We can calculate this by adding the current scroll bar value to the project's earliest start date, which is the 10th of April, 2024. The end date of the visible data is the latest date that appears on the horizontal axis of this timeline. If we want to show 30 days at a time, this will be the start date plus 30. We want the spacing to be 10 days between, so we can type 10 for the spacing. And as a reminder, the scroll bar value is the current value of the scroll bar control. This value will change as we use the scroll bar and will influence the start and the end dates. Next, let's add our scroll bar. Ensure the Developer tab is showing in order to do this. In the Developer tab, click Insert, and within ActiveX controls, select the scroll bar and insert it below the timeline. Mm -hmm. 
Next, in the Developer tab, ensure that Design Mode is selected and then right-click the scroll bar and click Properties. Within Properties, set the Linked Cell to G3 Also set the minimum value to zero, the small change to 30, and the large change to 30 as well. This ensures that as we scroll, it moves 30 days at a time. For the max, the way we get this is by finding the difference between the end date of the whole project and the start date which is 90 days. Since we want to show 30 days or a month at a time in our charts, we deduct 30 to give 60 as our max value. So we can add this here. In other words, the max represents the total duration of the project minus the number of days we want to display at one time, which is 30. We can then exit out. And before we write our code, we want to change the name of our charts to timeline, which will then be picked up by the VBA code. Next, let's go into Visual Basic and let's insert a module. Once we've inserted a module by clicking insert followed by module, we can insert the following code. In other words, what we are saying is we want to activate the charts in our sheets, which is called timeline. And with this chart, we want to set the minimum value of the horizontal axis to the value in cell G6, which is the start date, the maximum value to G9, which is the end date, and the major unit to the spacing, which is found in cell G12. Finally, we want to activate this macro each time the scroll bar changes. To do this, we can go into the sheet we are in within Visual Basic, so sheet one, and we can insert the following code. This is telling Excel that when scroll bar one, which is the name of our scroll bar changes, then the macro we wrote earlier should be executed. Let's test it out. To test it out, let's unselect the design mode and then let's use the scroll bar. As you can see, the start date is the 10th of April. When we click to the right, it shows the 10th of May until the 9th of June. In other words, a month. Let's keep scrolling. And as you can see, the timeline adjusts dynamically. The final end date when we scroll to the end is the 9th of July. As you can see, the scroll bar value is 60, which is the value we used earlier for the scroll bar maximum property. So that's how you can create a dynamic project timeline using a scroll bar in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.